A silver oxide battery, i.e. C code, S, is a primary cell with a very high energy to weight ratio. Available either in small sizes as button cells where the amount of silver used is minimal and not a significant contributor to the product cost, or in large custom designed batteries where the superior performance of the silver oxide chemistry outweighs cost considerations. These larger cells are mostly found in applications for the military, for example in Mark 37 torpedoes or on Alpha-class submarines. In recent years they have become important as reserve batteries for manned and unmanned spacecraft. Spent batteries can be processed to recover their silver content. Silver oxide primary batteries account for over 20% of all primary battery sales in Japan. 67,000 out of 232,000 in September 2012. A related rechargeable secondary battery usually called a silver zinc battery uses a variation of silver oxide chemistry. It shares most of the characteristics of the silver oxide battery, and in addition, is able to deliver one of the highest specific energies of all presently known electrochemical power sources. Long used in specialized applications, it is now being developed for more mainstream markets, for example, batteries in laptops and hearing aids. Compared to other batteries, a silver oxide battery has a higher open circuit potential than a mercury battery, and a flatter discharge curve than a standard alkaline battery. Experimental new silver zinc technology different to silver oxide may provide up to 40% more runtime than lithium ion batteries and also features a water-based chemistry that is free from the thermal runaway and flammability problems that have plagued the lithium ion alternatives. This technology had the highest energy density prior to lithium technologies. Primarily developed for aircraft. They have long been used in space launchers and crewed spacecraft where their short cycle life is not a drawback. Non-rechargeable silver zinc batteries powered the first Soviet Sputnik satellites as well as U.S. Saturn launch vehicles, the Apollo lunar module, lunar rover and life support backpack. The primary power sources for the command module were the hydrogen-slash-oxygen fuel cells in the service module. They provided greater energy densities than any conventional battery, but peak power limitations required supplementation by silver-zinc batteries in the centimeters that also became its sole power supply during re-entry after separation of the service module. Only these batteries were recharged in flight. After the Apollo 13 near disaster, an auxiliary silver-zinc battery was added to the service module as a backup to the fuel cells. The Apollo service modules used as crew ferries to the Skylab space station were powered by three silver zinc batteries between undocking and SM jettison as the hydrogen and oxygen tanks could not store fuel cell reactants through the long stays at the station. Silver oxide batteries become hazardous on the onset of leakage. This generally takes five years from the time they are put into use which coincides with their normal shelf life. Until recently, all silver oxide batteries contained up to 0.2% mercury. The mercury was incorporated into the zinc anode to inhibit corrosion in the alkaline environment. Sony started producing the first silver oxide batteries without added mercury in 2004.